Welcome to Authorpreneur TV, real talk about what it takes to be an author in the digital age. So today I wanted to talk about blogging. And the reason is because you probably have heard people say, you know, and someone probably said this to you before, um, you have to have a blog. Or if you're a writer, you should have a blog. And I have to say that they're totally right. So if you're a writer, you really should have a blog. And this is especially true for, you know, wanting to get your author presence out there. But also if you have a common name that, you know, there's other people out there who have the same name as you. There's a really good reason to have a blog for that. So let me kind of tell you what my story of how I, you know, went through something like this. So um, back in 2008, I started my blog and I wanted to use my name, Jennifer Blanchard, right? I wanted to get the .com. Problem was when I tried to get it, all that was available was, you know, everything but the .com. So there was actually a realtor who, you know, um, has the same name as me and she bought JenniferBlanchard.com. So I couldn't get it. And then the thing that sucked is that she doesn't even use it. She was basically just forwarding it to another um, website. And so I really wanted it, but obviously I can have it because she already had it. So I ended up getting JenniferBlanchard.net and I never used it, but like I just had it. So I was using at the time Procrastinating Writers. That was my blog name and that was the name I was using for my actual URL on my site. But eventually I got to a place where it was like, okay, if I'm going to be an author and I'm going to be out there and having lots of books and, you know, that kind of thing and being a story coach, I have to have a website that uses my actual name. So I set up my website using JenniferBlanchard.net. And then I had all my articles and stuff from my old blog redirected to that site. And then I, of course, started adding new content onto that one. Now, what ended up happening over the course of all those years was that I actually outranked JenniferBlanchard.com on Google. So now if you search the name Jennifer Blanchard, I come up first before all the other people who have the same name as me. And this is because I've been doing content online for years now. Now it's like going on eight years. And I've been, you know, writing articles. So I have fresh content on my website all the time. And Google loves fresh content. They love to see um, a website where the content is changing on a regular basis and that you're not just static, you know, having a static web page or a website, but there's nothing actually changing on it on a consistent basis. That's why it's really important to have a blog because a blog makes it easy to change something on your site in a you know consistent basis without having to do a whole lot of work. So it's really just write a blog post, put it out there. And you can easily do that you know once or twice a month minimum, but I would recommend once a week if you can. Um, I've just gotten into a schedule of blogging every single day again, or at least five days a week, not on the weekends really, but just Monday through Friday. Um, I'm pretty much on track with it at this point. But um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm not married to a schedule. It's just more like I'm just trying to get a lot of blog posts written as much as I can. So I'm just getting content out there as, you know, on a regular basis, whether that's five days or four, you know, that's not really the important thing. The important thing is getting it out there, right? So, but that's why I would recommend you have a blog for, you know, your author presence. It's a really great tool to use is like WordPress. So there's a WordPress.com, which is totally free. And you can use that to start your, your website, but then also have a blog feature built in already. So that way you can just have it right on your site. You can just start writing articles, publish them, and you automatically have content out there that's connected to your site. Now, of course, it's going to take some time. You know, if you do have an author name that's common and you want to outrank some people who are already out there, you can do it. It's just going to take time. So that's really going to require you to um, just get content out there on a regular basis, get your name out there, get links back to your website. So that way, you know, Google knows that you're an authority and that they can actually move you up in the ranks because you you're actually an authority site and, you know, Google is willing to recommend you because of that. So it takes time. I mean, I didn't start out this way. I started off on, you know, a blog spot blog and I didn't have any ranking with Google at all. I mean, if you Googled my name, not only would I not come up, but I wouldn't even come up on the first like five pages probably. But now I'm coming up on the top of it because I'm out there so much and I have so much stuff out there on, you know, different websites and my own website, obviously, but other people's websites I've guest posted. I have, you know, videos. I've got a YouTube channel. I have Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all this other stuff. So it takes time to get to this point and build it up so that you have, you know, stuff out there that's going to get you to a place where Google will actually rank you. But just keep going, you know, just as much as you can do something on your website so that Google can see that you're consistent, see that you have good content and start eventually moving you up in the ranks so that you show up where you want to on, you know, when people search for you. 
So if you have questions about this, I'm going to talk about blogging a whole lot more because this is a topic that I absolutely love. I've been blogging since 2008. It's something that I enjoy. And, you know, I've gone through all different phases of it where I'm writing more or less, but I've gotten back to a place where I'm really excited about blogging again and just being a writer. And I feel like, you know, this is a great way and a great tool really to showcase your writing skills, to practice writing um, it's also great for, you know, marketing. So think of it as a tool for just talking about the books you write or the stuff that you have going on. Talk about your process. Talk about how you, you know, work on your stories, share different pieces of your writing. There's so much stuff you can do with your blog that's going to engage an audience. It's going to help you get content out there and show yourself as an authority and as an author that somebody would want to read about or read, you know, books from. So again, if you have questions, I would love for you to just leave them in the comments and I will come back and answer them for you and I will catch you next time.